Consider the nanohole array illustrated here. The structure is made up of a glass substrate with a thin film of gold on top. A rectangular pattern of holes is etched into the gold layer. Let's say we're interested in obtaining the reflection and transmission spectrum of plane wave light at normal incidence from the air above the structure over the visible spectrum 400 to 700 nanometers. The thickness of the gold film and the radius of the holes etched into the gold layer are both 100 nanometers, which is sub-wavelength. For this structure, we will use the finite difference time domain, or FDTD method, to simulate the device's performance. But what is the motivation for running a simulation in the first place? Running simulations is faster and cheaper than fabricating prototypes and then making experimental measurements especially if you want to get results for a range of different designs. Simulations are a great way to evaluate and optimize design parameters before manufacturing physical devices. Simulations can also be used to verify experimentally obtained results. FDTD Solutions solves Maxwell's equations for arbitrarily complex geometries where the device performance may not be intuitive and where no analytical methods exist to predict the device behavior. The FDTD method is particularly good for simulating devices which have feature sizes on the order of a wavelength or smaller. This is when geometric optics, such as Snell's law, break down, which means that ray tracing methods will not give accurate results. FDTD is also well suited to situations where broadband results are desired. The time domain nature of FTTD means that broadband results can be obtained from a single simulation.